Do you have any models from other related disciplines? Uh, yeah, uh, Janat mentioned an example from architecture. You must have seen how after major disasters, the government builds housing for you know, people affected. Such housing schemes usually don't involve local residents in the planning. And uh, this often leads to houses that the locals don't feel at home in. These places get neglected afterwards and the project becomes totally unsustainable because it can't be maintained by the community. I do recall something like this happened in Kutch after the big earthquake yeah, of yeah. 2001. No, this is in, uh, in 2004 after the tsunami. Uh, this, the architect Durganand Balsavar uh, was uh, commissioned to design new homes in Tamil Nadu in the Nagapatnam district. And he insisted on getting the local people involved right from the beginning. He wanted, you know, the, actual, the local people to feel a sense of ownership in the homes that, that came up, uh, that were designed. It was not very easy because the donor agencies and the local residents obviously had very different views on uh, what needed to be designed in their ideal home. So uh, the house design that the community wanted had a shaded veranda in front that was facing the street and uh, which also housed a kitchen. They wanted their kitchen to be in the veranda of the front. And uh, uh, the donor agencies were completely opposed to this and uh, even Balsavar didn't agree with this. For them, uh, the ideal kitchen didn't have a you know, have the kitchen on the porch. It was inside the house and it was closed. Balsava then, I think, uh, uh, understood that this, this design solution was something that reflected the villagers' way of life. And so he went with that. He included the people in the design. Yeah, and it, it was a very participatory process. The larger point was that when you, participative design uh, ensures that the design sustains longer because those who are invested in using it participate in the making of it, they care about it, and it uh, lives with them far longer. So people were involved in the design planning as well? Yes, they were even involved in the construction. They made bricks, did masonry, carpentry, and electrical work. The building process provided the people with livelihoods and they felt a keen sense of ownership in the project. The emotional investment of the local people translated into sustainability, as shown by their care for the buildings long after the design team had left. So this is another example where the socio-cultural aspect was taken into account. Yeah.